Workers are celebrating gains made in the labor movement this Labor Day. It's a chance for unions to come together in a show of solidarity. And in Victoria, that show of strength had a festive feel at the annual Labor Day picnic. But as CTV Stephen Andrew reports, scenes of union workers relaxing in the sun are about to turn to labor unrest. Amid all the hoopla surrounding the annual Labor Day picnic, there is an underlying serious tone. The fun and games celebrating workers' rights are about to fade, and in their place, labor unrest over what unions see as a loss. The government has really signaled that there will be no increase again for most labor unions, and people are finding it difficult making it from payday to payday, so I expect we're going to see maybe a bumpy road ahead of us this fall. UBIC support workers began a series of rotating strikes this week as students return to class. Without a contract since 2010, two QP unions are looking for more job security. The university says with budget pressures looming, it's not in the business of guaranteeing jobs. And on Wednesday, members of the BC Government Employees Union will walk off the job. The union plans to shut down government in a move to get it back to the negotiating table. The private sector is going to be getting wage increases of about 3% this year. And really, that's all the public sector is asking for. They're asking for, you know, around a, a wage a cost of living increase. And that's fair. And the numbers also didn't work out for teachers this year. They'll be returning to school tomorrow with an imposed contract hanging over their heads. And while teachers aren't participating in any formal kind of job action, some teachers may decide not to participate in extracurricular activities, for which they don't get paid. We no longer have any restrictions in terms of class size, um, grade four and up. They can be, there can be more than 30 children in, in a class. So teachers that have very large classes are obviously going to have a, a situation where they have to focus on their teaching and may not have the energy to do other things. For now, the unions are taking an escalating approach to job action, preferring not to anger the public, biding their time and hoping that by next year's picnic, a new government will be in place, giving them even more reason to celebrate. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.